It's arrived. My DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And I'm about to unbox it. Now, you see, it doesn't look like much. But you see this. The power behind this little camera. Cool. So, I got the creator combo. But don't worry, once I start setting this bad boy up, you're going to see everything. So, this is the camera, I believe. So, this is what I'm going to be holding. Okay, very small. In comparison to my hand, it's very, very small. But with the creator combo, I know that there's a lot of like extensions that I add on to it. Okay, so the light is come on already. I don't really know what it does. But <clears throat> let me just show you what everything I got. So, this is what the box looks like. The creator combo also comes with a microphone. This is the tripod stand. I believe we have a battery extender in here. Okay, so I believe I've unpacked everything. This right here is the camera. As I said, this is the tripod stand, which you just screw onto the camera. So I'm definitely going to do a review once I have time to fully use the camera and see all of the features. For now, this is just the unboxing. I need to get an SD card and I think I need to get like a proper long tripod. But this is my new camera. So you're going to see a lot sharper quality. What I wish I could do is put this side by side with this side by side. But because I haven't set this up yet, you're going to have to trust me when I say that the quality on this is unmatched. So yeah, DJI Pocket Osmo 3, my birthday present. Today's actually my birthday. And I turned 23 and I wasn't actually going to vlog this, but I realized one thing I want to do today, not today, this whole year is really pick up the camera. And what I mean by that is show you lot my life because I feel like my videos beforehand have all just been structured or when I have something to do, like for example, a powerlifting competition or when I'm in Dubai or when I'm doing something. But my favorite YouTubers show you their life and their personality and I know I've got a great personality so I want to show that more on camera and I feel like YouTube I haven't cracked it yet and I don't know if I will but I'm comfortable to post on TikTok and Instagram but I feel like YouTube I feel like I have to make it perfect and there's no such thing as perfection so I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more as you saw I just got myself a camera but I want to talk to you guys more so about what my journey through life is that's what this youtube channel was meant to be about the life of phase but what does that actually mean and you know what i think i made a perfect video the other day that i'm proper proud of which really shows this new journey of my life this time last year i was on the road to becoming a professor in advanced materials and now i'm studying to become a qualified teacher but the funny thing is, in five years time, I might decide to become a professor in advanced materials or a chartered engineer. And in 10 years time, I might decide to be a maths teacher. I also run a business, do content creation, and I'm a powerlifter. And I say all of that to say, keep your options open and don't have a closed mindset to anything because you don't know what the future has in store for you. Yeah, I think that encompasses what I'm about. Like, I have different avenues that I can take in my life and that I'm looking to explore. And I don't really have it figured out, but it's a process, you know? So that's what, that's what this whole YouTube channel now is gonna be about, showing you each step of the way. I'm also just my everyday life. Obviously I'm a teacher now, or at least training to be a teacher, so I don't know how much I can show in my school day, but I'm gonna show as much as possible. And yeah, really just take you along with the journey. So I'm heading to the gym right now. Oh my days, it's busy. Got a little pump on. King's battery was not was not great. So I always just ever since I was in first year, I just cooked my own food. I came to uni with a lot of people from sixth form. So I knew a lot of people, but at the same time, I weren't really messing with like too many others. And I made that mistake because freshers week, I was just going with my boys that I knew. I didn't really make friends in the first week of uni. So I, I realised that everybody has their own batches. I'm thinking, why? Like, how do these not know each other? But I did it. It was Freshers' Week and things like that. They all, because people have come by themselves, so they're making friends yeah. with who they're around. Oh, yeah. I'm going to another college to meet my boys. That's what's happening. Do you know what I'm saying? The network that you've got here. Yeah. 
Yeah, Cambridge is a serious place, man. And that's why, for me, that's why I've stayed so many years. Like, I stayed basically two extra years. Like, me, I would have graduated after three years, which was in 2023. Then 2024, I actually graduated. I did my master's. Then I came back to do this PGC. But for me, it all was part of the picture of being in Cambridge because I know the networks you can build here will take you. It's different. Like I can't being an alumni is good, but there's you can't get in certain doors. Like I can't just go to the next college and tell them I, I want to partner with them. Like it's it's a, it's a bit more it's a bit different. So being here, I tell people make the most of it. Like Cambridge, you won't you won't you won't get another chance to really come back here. Second year was a I love, second year was my favorite year in Cam, other than fourth. Second year is a proper. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good time for me because, I, like, like you said, I came out of my show fully, fully with everyone. Started doing social media. I started, do you know what I mean, touching on different things. So, do you know, with social media for me, yeah, I've always been, I always loved posting. Whenever it was private story back in the day or whatever. But then I got to second year, I'm like, fam, I'm in a position that a lot of men dream of. Yeah, it's different. It's different. A lot of people can't really say they do what you do. So I'm thinking, yo, young black person in Cambridge, showing people what the life is like, that not everyone's nerdy, not everyone is, you know. So I started just documenting it. And then now I'm in a position where I never thought I will take it, you know, sponsors and business. And that was for me just trying something new. I was just telling him how my journey started. You get to a point where you realize like, let me just, let me just show myself. Let me not care what other people think. Let me not, perception is a big thing, man. You don't want to perceive, be perceived as wet. Or exactly, hundred percent, man. Anyone like people can call it corny. People can say whatever, but at the end of the day, you're doing what you. Hundred percent, bro. Everyone, everyone hates until they want to do it as well. Yeah, it was. It's nice, bro. It's nice, man. That's what I'm saying, man. That was that, bro. You reminded me of myself because my first ever video was two years ago. Yeah. Was it two or three years ago? No, it was 2022, two years ago. And it was a day in the life. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to get judged. I don't want people from the ends to see the video and be like, oh, this guy's a TikTok boy now. Yeah. Everything like that. But at the end of the day, everyone rated it. And from there, yeah, I was still insecure about it. I wanted to, bro, I, put, I posted my first video in October, first week of term. Didn't post my second one till the last week of term. So two months later. And only because the whole time I wanted to delete it. I wanted to, I think people are thinking, ah, oh, this guy's a bit. But at the end of the day, bro, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy making content. I enjoy showing my lifestyle. All right, back from the gym. Got a little pump on. But yeah, in the humble abode, my room in Cambridge. I put a little clip of me having a convo in the gym. That was one of my boys. Um, actually, to be fair, I don't know him that well, but. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Um, he's in Homerton College as well. He's in second year. So wanted to just give a little insight. Actually, I just the camera was running and I was like, let me leave it running and let me include it. Um, but yeah, little insight into some of my thoughts and feelings. But yeah, I guess I think I want to do a little life update and just talk to you guys really about the direction I think I should take my life in and all of these things I've been thinking about. So yeah, um, if you didn't know, I'm currently in my fifth year as a Cambridge student, I'm doing my PGCE, which stands for Postgraduate Certification in, of Education, which allows me to be a qualified teacher. I'm studying maths, so to put it simply, I'm going to be a math teacher. Um, so yeah, we're currently doing our placement in different schools. So my first one is over in Hertfordshire, really enjoying it. The students are good, having a good time. Um, and yeah, started, started being a teacher. But yeah, being in uni for five years, takes its toll on you and what I mean by that is you start to see people that you went to uni with in their jobs and some of them have been working for two years now and you look at yourself and like am I really making the right decision you know could I have been earning some money by now these different thoughts so for me I'm thinking about the future I'm like what am I really gonna do next year I'm not coming back to uni okay I'm not doing a sixth year so next year is the real world and I'm a business owner, I'm the founder of Tutability, and I really, really love that business, like, it's my baby, and I need to see, am I going to go full throttle into that, or am I going to be a math teacher, or am I going to be a chemical engineer, which I studied for four years, you know, I'm not letting that go to waste, 
um i do content creation i do powerlifting there's so much that i do yeah and it really i really want to get this right i know i have a good opportunity and a unique opportunity and for me it's like i want to take the right steps for my future but there's no way to know what the right step is you know you just have to do it so yeah i've been thinking about this a lot and the short answer is i don't know what i'm going to be doing next year i have an idea but am I certain? No. Will things that happen this year dictate what I do next year? 100%. Okay. I have a lot of partnerships that I'm trying to establish and get sorted this year for tutability. If that takes off and brings in five figures, six figures, then that's where I'm going. But if the will of God is not for that to happen, then I can be a maths teacher and I won't be mad at that. So we'll see. But I'm excited for the journey, 100%. And I said, I'm going to start vlogging properly making proper proper youtube content because i want to take you lot on that journey with me you know it's a journey of uncertainty let's 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 be frank i want you lot to see the raw unfiltered phase but yeah hope you lot have enjoyed this impromptu birthday vlog happy birthday to myself this is actually the first time i said it we thank god for another year of life honestly some people don't get to see the age of 23 so i'm grateful i'm thankful and i feel blessed so if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. If you're new here, please subscribe and share with your friends. You know, I'm really trying to build this community. So if you're rocking with me, I'm rocking with you a lot. And until next time, peace.